Hi everyone, my name is Saroj Khanal. Today I'm going to present my post session paper on modular multi-level converter design for grid integration of solar photovoltaic systems. First of all, I would like to thank my graduate advisor, Dr. Wahid Desfani. This work was a part of my master's thesis at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. So to start off with the background, modular multi-level converter abbreviated as MMC, has been the de facto industry standard for medium and high power applications such as voltage sourced converter, high voltage direct current transmission systems. And this is mainly due to the outstanding salient features like modularity, scalability, high efficiency, high reliability, and superior harmonic performance. However, due to the limitations in existing topology, control, and modulation, MMC has not been fully exploited to harness such features in the areas of grid integrations of distributed energy resources. So this work will propose the novel MMC design, which simultaneously acts as the DC power optimizer to capture maximum power, and as the DC to AC inverter to transfer solar power from DC link to the AC power systems as a standalone package. So the figure one shows the proposed configuration for a grid connection of photovoltaic systems through the proposed full bridge submodule based MMC, hereafter called as FPMMC. And the PV array in the left represents a PV system that takes irradiance and temperature as input and generates DC power as output. The FPMMC takes the DC output power and converts it into AC output power of desired quality to transfer to the utility grid. The FBMMC block acts both as maximum power point tracking unit as well as DC to AC inverter. And then the maximum power point tracking control takes current and voltage from PV side as control signals. And then coming down to figure two which represents the circuit diagram of modular multi-level converter based on full bridge submodule, where each submodule contains the circuit that can provide three voltage conditions, minus VC, zero, and plus VC, where VC being the nominal voltage value of capacitor inside the submodule, as opposed to zero and plus VC in case of half bridge circuits. And then figure 3 illustrates the operating reason of half bridge submodule based MMC hereafter called as HBMMC and FBMMC. So the subfigure A clearly shows that the constant VDC voltage is required in the DC side to generate the sinusoidal output voltage of peak VDC by 2, which is the maximum possible value from the converter. Therefore, this SBMMC topology is unable to be used for grid integration of solar photovoltaic that demands variable voltage in the DC side to harness maximum power. So this flexibility is achieved using FPMMC as shown in the subfigure B. So the FPMMC can offer full flexibility in the DC side. By that, I mean it can provide AC output voltage with the same VDC by 2 peak using any voltage value from minus VDC to plus VDC including 0. So with these changes, new switching algorithms are proposed and can be found in the paper. In addition, following controls as in the figure 4 are proposed uh, to support the modulation of FPMMC. First, the DC link voltage control block will also include MPPT control and AC output current control block makes sure that no energy is tapped in FPMMC block. So this slide shows the case study results from the simulations and the figure in the left shows the irradiance, temperature and DC link voltage and input and output power of the FPMMC based PV system and the results in the right shows the three important control parameters of MMC operation and they all look uh, within the acceptable range. Finally, we are able to validate the proposed topology and as a recommendation, the more robust treatment of circulating current control can be done. Thank you.